Uh, YouTuber. Yeah, yeah, YouTuber, yeah. Uh, League of Irish Ball. Best of luck. I'll give it the atmosphere. I think there'll probably only be one in it. We get it wrong every week. Which is entertaining. You know, it's just what you need. Football. Gents, boys and girls, welcome back to League of Irish Ball, me, Seb. I'm at another big one. I'm at Drada versus Shamrock Rovers at Weavers Park. It's a massive game for both clubs tonight, isn't it? Um, Drada looking to avoid automatic relegation and hopefully push themselves out of the playoff spots as well. And Shamrock Rovers, surprisingly now, find themselves right in the thick of a title race. It's been a busy week. Um, we went live on Wednesday. Um, me, Fisky Stove. Um, Again, discussing what we believe could be the title race or the relegation battle. We went through it all. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. Listen to our opinions if you wish. Uh, don't take them Scott's ball. We are only for, we're not football experts. I know that's hard to believe. We get it wrong every week. We're just football fans. But um, yeah, check it out. And the last time we actually done a match day vlog, it was the three of us again, and we were here again. We was parked for the FAI Cup semi-final where Jordan United booked a cup final for themselves at the Aviva Stadium on Sunday the 10th of November, which I do have my ticket for. And yes, I will be in the Jada end. So stay tuned for that one, lads. Sunday 10th of November. Um, look, I'm going to take a little look around. I'll give you the atmosphere. I've got the Shamrock Rovers lot behind me on that side. And I've got the famous 45 on that side. So lads, stay tuned. <laughs> Let's see what the lads have to say the live this week then. Let's start <laughs> off then as, as ever professionals with uh, Drogheda United versus Shamrock Rovers. We'll have to start the show again. For Absolutely. Ever so rewind, rewind. Rewind back the mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have 50 <laughs> people watching. <laughs> and we're rewinding. And we just know by the way, very, very quickly before we move on to prediction. Yeah. I got every, I got every result right. Not result, sorry, but oh. Uh, oh. permutation. Everyone in the last round. Uh, potentially no Piero. Yep. Business end of the season. Yep. Rovers go out there, clinical, efficient, cold, job to be done, get the job done. Yeah. I just think they're going to have too much. You know, if I actually, I think it's going to be exceptionally a tight, I think it'll be a, a, a late winner Um, for Shamrock Rovers. I think they're going to have just a little bit too much, but like Weavers are going to, going to be rocking. Um, I, th I think it's all to play for. Yeah, look, then I underestimated the size of this game anyway, even though Stiles is close and about how he was so right last week. He'll certainly be open his wrong this week with a 3-0 world just to do it anyway. But I'm going to like that in hindsight. And that's the way to on. Uh, ever since I fall to and lost away at Oriole Park. In the league, one loss of nine against Pats away. And Pats will won the last six in a row. That's not embarrassing. I knew it was a server. Dundalk failed to win tonight. Jarda will not be automatically relegated. Um, and they're probably going to look and not be able to tie this, to be honest with you now. Having said that now, they've won one of their last seven meetings since they shut off all this. And so tonight is absolutely not an easy game for them. Let's talk about Shamrock Rovers then. Well, find themselves on the title race now, don't they? We've rolled them out a few weeks ago. 
saying this is a shit horse versus them, it's a two horse race. It's turned into a three horse race. Jammer Rovers have won four of their last six games as well. But with these two got big things coming up with Drada playing in the cup final and Shamrock Rovers playing in a massive game in Northern Ireland on Thursday. You just wonder, do you think they'll have both have their heads turned? Let's take a quick look at the league table, lads, before we give my prediction. So as you can see, these six teams mathematically still within a chance of winning the league, which is absolutely bonkers for three games to go. It just shows how entertaining this league really is. Um, it goes from Sligo Rovers all the way up to Shelburne, which is madness. Um, Shamrock Rovers find themselves third. They'll be hoping to keep off Pats and they'll be hoping to catch Shells and Derry if they quail to win tonight. A draw to the other end, you can see they're four points behind Bows and eight points ahead of Dundalk. They'll be hoping that Dundalk fail to win tonight, which means they won't be East West to relegated. And they'll be hoping to catch Bows. As both play Sligo Rovers tomorrow night. Anyway, lads, what do I think tonight? Well, I fancy an upset hit. I think Gerard United are the underdogs. The underdogs, as they call themselves. I think the momentum is going to carry on through from recent form. I think Shamal Rovers are going to be thinking of Europe. Slight bit of rotation in there as well, I believe. So, I reckon 2 1 Gerard United. I believe the home crowd might carry on over the line. I think the place will be rocky, and I think they'll be buzzing that they stay up automatically. Uh, I completely done the other way from Stiles and Fisky anyway, but lads, there's no thoughts on the comments. Um, yeah, the game's ahead of us now, and I cannot wait for it's a sellout crowd here tonight at Weavers as well. It's going to be absolutely bouncing over there, let me tell you. There's the main stand over there for Jardy United, and there's the Shamrock Rovers, lads. Base is going to be rocking, I'll tell you why, but it's How you doing? No. Uh, uh, no, well, I'm, I'm a... I'm, YouTuber? Yeah, yeah, YouTuber, yeah. Uh, League of Irish Ball. Best of luck. It is packed over there, let me tell you. Absolutely packed. Just seeping in the Dan City of Wonderland for Ariel Park, which will mean Dundalk will automatically be very good. I really thought that was in. I was thinking, why is Ryan and Brennan not stepping up here? The Shane Fowl turn steps up there. Great effort.
I think I've gone here, lads. It's still nil nil. Shamar Rovers look threatening in the first five ten. But ever since then, Jordan have really started to settle into the game. I'd say uh, they're playing some good stuff up there. Uh, they're causing a bit of trouble actually to the fan. Uh, you can see the heavens have opened up as well. So uh, it's starting to land down just now, which is entertaining. You know, it's just what you need. But anyway, look. It's good atmosphere by both sets of sports. Nil nil. Half hour gone. Look like the goal was at his mercy there. Weavers, it's John and Neil, it's Shamrock Rovers and Neil. Um, I've managed to pick the only Neil Neil for half time as well, by the way, which is interesting to know. I love a Neil Neil, me, I love it. Now, um, look, I think it's been a fairly even game. Both sides to feel like they had their chances in the first half there. Dolmouth scramble for Shamrock Rovers, as we see, and it was a big chance for DJT at the other end as well. Um, I said. On the half hour mark, Gerard are probably slightly on top, but after that, I would say Rovers had the better of the chances there, to be fair. Although there's no goals here at half time, there's been a few goals elsewhere. Anyway, but let's take a look at the scores at half time. Derry Sick 1, Dundalk 0, Ariel Park 0 0 here, obviously. We have 1 0 Shells, Watford, and we have 1 0 Pats at half time against Galway. So let's take a quick look at the table at half time and see what that does. Puts their City level up points for Shelburne at the top, but their superior goal difference puts the top of the league with two games to go if it stays this way. Pats getting that 1-0 uh, advantage at half-time against Galway puts them level on points with Shamrock Rovers as well. So it's all to play for still at half-time, you'd say. Looks like Dundalk at the other end, though. Looks like they are for the drop tonight. And a point for Jada puts some three points behind Bows. They'll be open as Logo Rovers doing a favour. At showgrounds, anyway. But anyway, look, still all to play for at half time. It's nil nil here. Atmosphere has been good. I am looking forward to this second half. I feel like there's a bit of a let off there for Jordan. Feels like it could be coming. If there's going to be a goal though, I think there'll probably only be one in it. It might even be a 1 0. Um, it seems fairly in game. Ten minutes to go, Shamal Rovers all over the link. It looks like there's going to be a goal. It's going to be the Shamal Rovers to keep that title pressure on. 0 0, 10 goal. They've loved that one over there, Rivers. Look, Gear and it's some over there now. Dylan Watts, arguably their best player this season for me. Come up with a good, with an absolute thunderbolt, putting it in the top right hand corner. What a goal. 
Um, you feel like that's probably enough to get it over the line tonight now with five to go. I said it's probably going to be one goal in it. And the balance of play in it has been. So look, one nil Rovers, five to go. There you go, lads. It's ended up Jolly United nil, Shamrock Rovers won. Rovers title charge well and truly on. An interesting game in the first half. It was quite, quite fast, feisty game actually. It surprised me. Quite high tempo. Both teams down for the win is what I would say. Um, second half, slightly different story. Shamrock Rovers did look like the better side, um, but it looked a little bit more leggy. I would say Jolly in the second half than Shamrock Rovers. They needed that win, Shamrock Rovers, to keep their five in a row record-breaking title hopes alive and they've done it let's take a quick look at the league table lads every team the top four have won it means shells remain top by two points Derry city shamal rovers level on points and pats still four points behind that's i was tuning in we go live on wednesdays as usual 7pm as well in seb with levi's good night